Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. So for the past 20 some odd episodes, we've been hard at work collecting resources, building a home, assembling machinery, but you want to know what we haven't done? We haven't taken a vacation, and I think that's long overdue. You know, we put in lots of work, and now it's time to reap the reward, sit on a beach, drink a pina colada, watch the sun set over the ocean. Sounds like a plan to me. So let's go to like the Tropic Craft Dimension or whatever it's called. So what we have to do is we have to get some wool, we have to get a coconut, bamboo, and pineapple. If I'm not mistaken, those are all the resources that we need, so why don't we go and try to find some of those? I kind of know what they look like. In fact, I think that's a pineapple over there, so we're already on our way to success, and oh, there's another one over there. All right, lots of pineapples. Let's see. It's called an iris? Huh. What's an Wait. Oh, maybe the iris is like the plant, and then it grows a pine pineapple. Looks like th this looks like the image that was on the website, so I'm going to go with it. And haha, -ha, pineapple. Woo. All right, cool. And then maybe it regrows or something. Let's see. Let's get some more pineapple. Why don't we get a few? Because I guess to get back out of the Tropic Craft dimension, we need to make like another pina colada. So we may as well have a few pina coladas on our hand. Why not? And then we need some bamboo as well. So that looks like it's right over here. Convenience. All the resources are like right around us. All right. Ow, ow, ow. I am a blaze. You know, I should probably turn back from a blaze when we go into the tropical water based dimension because blaze men probably not like their favorite spot. Okay, so we have 22 bamboo and yeah, we can get some more. We can get a few more. So I already have the uh, the lawn chair pulled up or the, the tropical chair, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the, the exact name is and more bamboo. It's all right if some falls in the water. There's like a whole bunch of it, I think, over in the uh, the yellowish green tree dimension. Anyway, we need some wool as well, and I think we've used most of it. So let me go and see if any of our sheep over here ha have regrown. Um, oh, I totally forgot. So there's a, a slight issue with the uh, the ender chest item transport thing, and that is that the, the quarry, the chunks for the quarry always stay loaded, no matter where you are on the map. But these chunks over here where our home is uh, don't always stay loaded. So the issue is that, um, that that the ender chest here won't be able to pump out resources when these chunks aren't loaded. But the quarry will still keep getting items and it'll start piling up in the other, the, the transmitting ender chest. And then it'll just fill up and start spitting out resources. So um, it's it's a minor setback, but we're, we're just going to have to turn off the quarry, I think, when we're going uh, exploring and stuff. It's not going to be a huge deal just um, when we're going and, and trying to find uh, some wool right now. But if we're going to go away for extended periods of time, like if we go into Tropicraft, I don't know if we go into another dimension if the quarry chunks stay loaded as well. But, you know, better safe than, than sorry and having items spewing all over the place. So we'll just uh, we'll disable it when we go, when we go on extended uh, trips. Um, actually, hmm, we can do, we can do a, a green chair, right? Can we? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. We can't, okay, we can't do a straight up white chair. So either we have to find some sheep or we have to just make some dye on our own. We'll probably, let's just go for the uh, the dye. Oh, I haha, forgot my shears. I know what I'm doing. Just one second. Sorry, we know there are plenty of sheep now. Be right back. Okie dokie. By the way, where did, why did, what, wait. My map, all the waypoints on my map, they're gone. Why are the waypoints on my map gone? I have no, what, what happened? They were just, oh my, this is, okay, wait, that, why, what happened? Oh, I think I know what happened. Oops. I was clearing out my other mods folder in my other instance of Minecraft, but maybe some of the stuff was stored in there. Oops. I can, I can fix this. I can fix this. Hold on, give me just a second to troubleshoot. So yeah, I kind of goofed and the waypoints are gone, but it's not a big deal. At some point in the near future, we'll have to go on an expedition to find Jerry's tree. Actually, no, we won't. We have telepads. Ha ha, I forgot about that one. Okay, so it's not even really a big deal at all, actually, because when we enter the nether, we can just mark another waypoint at the portal. We can mark a waypoint right now for Carrie's. Castle. We can even call it 2.0. We can fix that and we'll call it, uh, it was blue before, so we'll make it blue again. Dunzoed. 
And cool. Okay, so we have a waypoint set up again. We can run to Jerry's tree. Actually, we'll do that after we get some wool, and then the nether stuff isn't even a big deal. All right, all is well. No worries. Just got a little bit tripped up for a second as to why the waypoints disappeared, and I restored the folders, but unfortunately, they, they still didn't show up. Not sure why, but oh well. Once again, we will survive. First I was afraid, I was petrified, just thinking I could never live in my mind. Alright, let's keep going and get some wool. And we're going to try to do this by sunset because the way to enter the tropics is... Wow, there are a lot of sheep here. Uh, the way to enter the tropics is you sip on a pina colada while sitting in a tropics chair while watching the sunset. So, we've got a... Yeah, this is timed. We're on the clock here. All right, pressure is on, pressure is on, here we go. And okay, so the sun's just rising right about now. So we have a full day to make this happen. Okay, 11 pieces of wool. So now uh, we need to combine bone meal with cactus green. Am I right? It's been a long time since I've messed with dyes. So forgive me for not being uh, completely educated in the ways of the dye color combinations, but I do believe it's cactus green plus bone meal, and then we can get some light lime green, right, cactus, all right, we're on the clock, let's do this quickly, bone, no, it's not a cac bone, it's just bone meal, okay, boom, and let's go and get ourselves some bone meal here, boom, and make ourselves, actually, so we're gonna need three, all right, one, two, three, and one, two, three, that'll get us some lime green, boom, and, or that'll get us six, my bad, my bad. And then we need a chair, which is what again? So, tropical chair, awesome. Okay. And do we need to do eight or can we just do, I think we can just do three, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. There we go. Boom. Cool. Fantastic. All right. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and make the chair with our bamboo sticks, which are made with two of those so we need that and then we're bench it up boom tropics chair tropics here we come getting closer okay cool and i think i also might have messed up with the whole wool thing and i would have been able to make like so no i didn't we're good we're good it just showed that all i needed in the uh, the wool department there or that the dye department was one to make eight. Oh well not a big deal it's not like we're we're lacking in the dye department regardless okay so let's see next up we need a drink how are we gonna make the drink pina it's called a cocktail so coconut chunk oh yeah we need to get the other uh, coconut from the palm tree but we need to make a mug as well which is done like so okay even closer now we have we have the pineapple we're gonna need i don't know we probably keep the bamboo mug when we drink we just need to get more coconut and pineapple all right I think we're doing just fine. We're gonna we're gonna beat the sunset by a good amount. I think there are some palm trees over here. Wherever there's sand, there tends to be uh, palm trees, so shouldn't be too difficult to, to to find. We've gone by a million over the course of this series, and palm trees. Where are you? I need some palm trees, pretty please. Yeah, there's one. There we go. Okay, you have some coconuts, right? Coconuts, yes you do, all right, cool. Coconut block. Ah, uh, oh, plenty of coconut chunks. Oh, I don't want to blaze. Oh, I need to eat. I wasn't even paying attention there. <laughs> all right, hold on. And we use a sword to machete. The, oh, God, stop going in the water. Ow, 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 how many do we have? We have 10, okay, we're good, we're good. And let's get another, boom. More coconut chunks. All right, we are coconut chunked up. So I think, do we have everything we need? Yeah, we have, we have the chair, we have, uh, we have the drink, we have the materials, we can build it. Okay, let's run back. And yeah, we're gonna beat the sunset by like a whole bunch here. Man, I'm antsy to go on vacation. I don't wanna wait until the end of the day. You know that feel when you're about to go on a trip, but then there's just there's like 12 hours in between the time that you're you're just sitting at home, and then in between when you're gonna go to the airport, and you're just like, I don't know what to do. I want to go down. Why are you here? How does that even? No, 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 little foot, don't, please, don't do. No, little foot, little foot, little foot. Come on, back in. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. All right, good. I know you're scurrying on, and it was scary out there. As a big bad world outside, and you don't want to mess around with that. No, you don't. 
He's like walking over into his corner now, even after I clicked on him to, to make him stand. So he's like, no, I don't want to go out there anymore. I'm scary. I'm just going to huddle in my corner and get protection from the power armor tinker table. Anyway, okay. It's okay, little foot. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I promise. So let's see. Do the trunks stay loaded or do we have an example? See, here's an example of how it fills up when the trunks unload. Um, despite the fact that this thing is pumping at full capacity, it wasn't. Well, uh, the chunks were unloaded, but the quarry was still doing its thing. So, man, we have so many resources, it's ridiculous. Um, anyway, all right, let's toss uh, some pina colada resources in the workbench and make one of those. We'll take the other stuff with us as well, just in case we need it, because we need to, to make a pina colada in order to get back. So there we go. Another cocktail. I keep calling it a, a pina colada because that's what it says on the website. But in reality, it is just a cocktail that contains pineapple cubes, coconut chunk, and pina colada. So I guess pina colada does apply. All right. So let's see. We'll keep these on us. What do I not want to take? We have some time to just go and kill some pigs. <laughs> so I have uh, more food to bring with. Anyway, let's see. So let's throw that back in. Throw that back in. That, that. That, that, I'm uh, just trying to clear out my inventory because I, I do assume we'll be collecting some stuff while we're over in the Tropic Crafts. And we can throw the buckets back. And, all right. Throw the, the fish in my little consumables chest as well. And then bring some wood along. Just Actually, there's probably plenty of wood there. So we'll bring our tools and we should be, uh, we should be plenty good. All right, cool. Let's go get some food real quick and then make sure we're, we're ready for the sunset to happen. It's going to be great. All right, how are we doing on time? Okay, it's just about past midday. And we're going to find some pigs and put them to good use. Pigs, I'm so sorry, but again, you know, these things are kind of necessary. I do need some, some food to survive. Unfortunately, this, uh, this sword has a wonderful mechanism of being able to turn you immediately into cooked pork chop and also give me extra because of looting. Mm hmm Oh, there was a haha, -ha, there was a palm tree over there that I didn't even notice previously. Oh well, anyway, more pigs. I'm so sorry guys, don't mind me. Yes, there we go. What I should do, I realize is the easiest way to start like a an animal farm ow, is to actually use the um the ore spawn spawn eggs because that way I don't have to like take wheat and guide dudes back to, to where I want to actually have the, the, the pen. I can simply spawn the pigs in the pen or the cows in the pen, etc, etc. And it'll just cut out the, uh, the time of having to like take them to where I, I want to take. I can't kill you. I can't. No, I just can't. I can't. This is... I need, to keep, I need to keep you forever. I was real confused for a second when I saw you, but now it's, it's real necessary that you just you live forever and never despawn ever and never die. I don't even care if I don't get the hat. This is just the best thing of all time. And it's completely random happenstance. That I don't think it purposely selected. Oh, this is a pig. Let's put a flying pig hat on it. Just happened, and it's the best, and you're going to be alive forever, and I'm going to protect you with my life, hopefully. I can't guarantee that because I'm not sure I'll always be around you, but what I should do is use uh, uh, use some wheat to guide you back, possibly. But I, alas, I have to make the sunset, so we're going to be cutting it pretty close here. I'm going to have to come back for you. Don't leave me. I will be with you for a sheep. You're an imposter. That's not, no, the hat is made for the pig. It's not made for you. It's made for pigs. This is the only, the one true holder, the one true holder of the flying pig hat is this man. This man, the pig. Uh, enchanted golden apple. Yes, please. I will take that. I do like golden apple cows. We can make a farm of those as well. All right, we're going to have to run back. We're going to make the sunset. Oh, more pigs, though. More pigs. I need more pork chop. Oh, the pork chop. I can get where to go. Oh, God, it fell down. Nope. And ow. Ow, ow, ow. Hold on. We're, we're on borrowed time. We're on borrowed time. Need to get ready. Get ready. Get ready. We'll put a lawn chair out on. I keep calling it a lawn chair. It's the beach chair. We'll put one out on our porch, and then we will sit and sip. Okay, it's happening soon. Let's run back. Pressure's on. Don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. Since we can't really see the sunset uh, from our porch because it's sort of obstructed by the mountain, uh, we'll just have to watch for the sky to turn a certain color. Do we want to act? Maybe we want to actually watch the sunset because the sunset's nice. 
Let me toss the shears away real quick. Just want to keep my inventory as empty as possible. I don't think I need the hammer either. You know, we're on vacation. I don't want to be doing work. I want to be hanging out. So there we go. We have what we need. I'll take some tools just in case I find anything interesting, you know. But anywho, all right. Let's go on. To, let's go on top of the uh, of the bluff over here, just so we get a good view. We want to we want to see the sunset as we drift on into the tropics. Yes. Uh, we still have time. We still have time. I can get some chicken. And bear in mind, once again, it's because I updated the morph mod that it's giving me the transform animations for animals I've already uh, taken out in the past. So, okay. Um, any more? Yes, we do. We have uh, some more piggies over here. Uh, no, that's a, that's a pink sheep. That is not a pig. <laughs> uh, any pigs? Any chickens? No, oh, we got some chickens. Here we go. I just love how some animals end up spawning inside the uh, the leaves, because yeah. Okay, okay. And you're hiding from me. I'm so sorry, but it's for a good cause. It's for my stomach. My stomach is a very, very good cause. Okay, sense is happening. Oh god. Um, hold on, hold on, and we're gonna put it down right here, right here. Oh god, don't attack me, please. And let's put down the chair. Sit in and drink. Don't come after me. Here we go. Woo. All right. Beautiful. Sorry, I was. <laughs> I would have set it up in a different place. Ew, I'm underwater and I'm ablaze. Ew, it doesn't feel good. Okay. Yikes. Uh, why am I nauseous? I had too much to drink. <laughs> too many of the alcohols. All right. We're in the tropics. It's vacation time. Yeah, it happened at long. Oh, what is this bamboo chest with nothing in it? Well, oh, we can store. I could have brought some more stuff. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, all right. Well, it's time to not be ablaze anymore. Because I can, I could be a jumpy bug. I could be a jumpy, but should I be a jumpy bug? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna get real tall right about now. Oh my goodness! Hi everyone. I'm real tall, and I'm also <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just jumpy bugging my way around. Just uh, yeah, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. Do any other 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 than a bat? Are there any other two? I could be a ghast. I could be a ghast, and I could fly around. Um, but are ghasts anti-water? I'm not sure. They may be. What else? I just want something that's flying that, um, you know, or we could get something that swims. Hmm, that's an idea as well. I just, I feel like we're going to be going swimming a lot, and therefore, I don't want to be a blaze man, because we're, okay, I'll just be a bat. I'll just be a bat. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just a bat on vacation, hanging out. All right, cool. So I think this is the, uh, this is the portal. I believe, and if we drink a pina colada here, we'll head back, but obviously we don't want to do that. All right, oh, there's a little village over there. Oh, we gotta explore, this is gonna be amazing. Yes, it is, okay. So, ooh, what do we have here? We have an iguana. Oh man, this is the best. We should just, you know, I, I'm half wanting to just sit on the beach right now and just watch things, except it's nighttime. You know, it's probably it's probably actually a better temperature at nighttime because it tends to get kind of hot when you're over in the other uh, tropics and stuff. It tends to be a potential issue. Is that a monkey? It's a V monkey. What is a V monkey? Hi, V monkey. How are you? I don't know why you're a V monkey, but that's cool and stuff. All right, let's check out the village. Let's just swim on over. You know, we didn't come all the way here just to fly about. We came to to take a nice refreshing dip in the infinite expanse of pool that is the ocean. Oh, is that an Easter Island head? Oh my God, really? Oh, we do, we have an Easter Island head here. Yes, we do. Oh, it's it's alive. Oh, oh, and it's even called an Easter Island head. That's awesome. Um, can I move you? Oh God! Ow! No! 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 Don't do that. I just want to be friends with everyone here. Oh man, we've even got like villager. Hi, what's up? Are you nice? And you, you kini, you kini. Are you gonna wear a bikini as a new kini? Iukini. Uh, no, stop. I, I'm gonna have to take you out. You leave me no choice. Well, what do you drop? I wonder. And, oh, okay, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. We cool. He's not unhappy anymore. Or is he? He just, he, his pathfinding got a little bit messed up. And I am so sorry. Okay, what? Ow! He's not killable! Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. Abort mission. Abort mission. Stop following me. Um, I'm gonna take your stuff if you don't mind. Nope, there's nothing in it. What are you? Hi. Hi. Capena. How I can we talk? Can we talk? I want to talk. Oh, he's fishing. Oh, he's he's fishing me. That was weird. 
Looked like he was fishing me for a second. Uh, how, oh, cost one. How do I? How, for, ooh, what is this? This is cool. Uh, scale chest plate. Cost 15. Offer items. Right click Koa with item. Cycle items. Buy item. Um, hmm. Well, this is nifty. Coconut grenade? I want it. Oh my god. Leaf, leaf, I don't know what a leaf ball. A blowgun. <gasps> a dart. Why is the dart more expensive than the blowgun? Fishing net. Cocktail. Snorkel. Oh man, this is the best. I want it all. I want to just... Dude. I feel like we should make a vacation home out here. That would be cool, you know? We could just add on to this. Uh, this looks well, this looks like one of those like floating hotel things, you know, that you go to in, in Tahiti, French Polynesia. It totally does. Eventually, one of these days, I want to go to one of those and just hang out. I haven't been on like a real vacation in a long time, you know? Just going to a tropical place for like a week or something. I, this inspires me to do that sometime, at some point, at some, some time. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Anybody want to talk to me? No, no one wants to talk to me. Dang it. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to do like some research as to, to things to do here in the. Oh, there's a vol is Is that a regular volcano or is that a different volcano? I'm going to like research things to do. And uh, when we resume, we can try doing some tropical stuff like exploring the volcano. It'll be amazing. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, would be much appreciated. Other than that, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll check out more tropical stuff in the next episode.